I can tell you, at least anecdotally, walking around Dublin, walking around England, walking around even like West Ireland, all the places I spent time, it was probably 10 to 1 the amount of Florida State fans I saw versus Georgia Tech fans. And why, like, why shouldn't it be? They have far more excitement for the program. They've had double digit wins each of the last year, and they have a huge chip on the shoulder after their snub uh, based on injury of keeping them out of the college football playoff last season. And yeah, they're also just a better team. They're a better team than Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech returned, I think, 16 starters, but at the same time, they weren't that good. I know they got a bowl win, but they were seven and six. And so, like, you're going to have Florida State come uh, right back. They've reloaded yet again. They have an excellent coaching staff that has done a great job of maximizing the talent available to them. And this number is too low. This number is too low at 10 and a half. So I'm more than happy to lay it, take the minus 110 over at Caesars, and get into this as my first pick today. Florida State, was it more a in your sense, a recency vibe with Florida State's program? Or did you see like a lot of Peter Warwick jerseys around Dublin? <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying that like Warwick is outnumbering, you know, their local hurling club 10 to one or anything like that. <laughs> Well, you're wearing like a, a Nike shirt with a Florida State logo on our Florida State hat. I don't know exactly how long that you've been a fan, but it is a proud program. It's a program that obviously yeah. did amazing things under Bowden and has certainly had uh, a, a big bounce back in the recent years. I think the most interesting thing about Florida State right now is how desperately they want out of the ACC. And so they have this super weird dynamic of being tied together for another decade and you know, them openly wanting to decamp to try to head somewhere else in this wild uh, realignment that we're seeing in college football, but regardless of whether they're fans for two years or 10 years or 20 years, they were, they were a ton of them. And I, I saw a couple of Georgia Tech fans, but it just makes all the sense in the world to me. Like you're going to see more Chelsea fans uh, traveling to see a match than you are Bournemouth fans, right? Just because like there's more recent success, more reason to be excited about it, and therefore more reason to spend your hard-earned dollars and your vacation days supporting that program all the way around the world.